is up everybody? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I know, I know, I know, I know. I said uh, there's gonna be tons of content coming, but it's because I got sick. I was sick all last week. You guys can probably hear I'm still pretty congested, but I went on call Monday through Friday of last week, and Monday I went on at 4 a.m. About midday I started getting a sore throat after the gym, and I was like, oh no, like, you know, I've got the shot, but that doesn't mean you still can't get it, and I just, I got real worried. And as the day went on, later into the evening, I started feeling worse and worse and worse. So I called out sick for the next day, and when you're on a reserve, you have to call in sick every day of reserve instead of just, hey, I'm gonna be sick for the next two, three, four, whatever days. So I got worried. I called my chief pilot, said, hey, like, you know, I'm, I have a lot of these symptoms. And he said, all right, go get tested, as I was going to. Anyways, so I got tested. Uh, the negative, it came back negative, and that was a rapid test. So I woke up Tuesday morning, got tested, because I felt really bad Tuesday morning, and came back negative. But the doctor was like, hey, it's been real weird with the new variant. Let's send a PCR test out. So it'll take two days to get back. So obviously I called in sick for the next two days as I wouldn't have been able to fly anyways because I was extremely congested and flying when having all that sinus pressure, uh, never, ever, ever do it. Even you know, as a passenger, obviously you're in the same environment, but please do not fly. You can blow your eardrums. You can cause severe damage to you. So uh, I'm still getting over it. Uh, I'm on call today because I'm a lot less congested. I can go fly even though I just told you, if you're congested, don't go fly. But it's like, I can breathe just fine. I just still feel just the slightest bit of pressure. So I'm on call, I went on call at 5 a.m. It is currently 1.25, and I wanted to pick up the camera. I wanna, I wanna get the vlogs rolling again. I'm currently about to print off some flight apparel orders because it's Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we are going to the post office to drop off orders. I've been sitting at my computer for the last four hours, knocking out a lot of onboarding paperwork for my next job. What is that? Who knows? I don't know when I'll be able to talk to you guys about it. Hopefully in the next month, I should find out very, very soon when I'm going to be moving forward with that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you can, do me a huge favor. It helps the channel. Smash the thumbs up button if you're new here, subscribe. Yeah, enjoy the video. So this last week, I basically sat on the couch the entire week and ate like crap, ordered out every single meal. I had no motivation. I literally had all the symptoms to say that I had the big C, but I didn't even after two tests. But anyways, yeah, I had no motivation. I literally just sat on the couch, felt like crap, ordered pizza, Chinese food, like the whole shebang, never worked out obviously. So I tried working out yesterday, but I went out this weekend, and obviously after you consume alcohol, uh, yeah, I just, that's why you should never drink anyways. So I had like a 10 minute workout yesterday, it was completely pointless. But you guys know I'm a super simplistic eater. I eat ground beef, rice, uh, peach salsa, cashew cheese, and sweet potato chips. That's like my go-to meal. It's so easy, it's so simplistic to make. So I try, I, I'm a child at heart but I try and switch up as much as possible. I was at Trader Joe's yesterday. I found these like turkey burgers and I had them yesterday and they're so good. So that's gonna be like my new kick. It's so easy, they're frozen, but still, uh, 10 grams of fat, 
zero carbs and 22 grams of protein. Yeah, the sodium's high, it's like 250 milligrams, but still, uh, I'm gonna have two of these before the gym. You'll have to cook it on the skillet for like five minutes, so that works perfect for me. And then, uh, I'm gonna eat it real quick. I'm actually getting to the gym a little later. I like to go right at 1 p.m. and work out on the rooftop so you can get some sun. But we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna walk Bella. We're gonna go play ball back behind the house because that is our go-to spot. I like to wear her out before I leave her because her separation anxiety is really bad. And if she's tired, she tends to not whine nearly as bad. So hopefully she'll nap while I'm at the gym for like hour, hour and a half. And then we gotta go and get uh, some ghost energy from Vitamin Shop. And then who knows, we're gonna come back, film another YouTube video, we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, one more thing. This is the best thing you can ever buy. I think the brand is Breville or whatever. I don't, I don't know. But you have the best, the best buns. Look at that, look at that toast. Absolutely perfect. I know this is completely pointless for so many of you, but you have all these options right here. And hold on, let me see if I can get it to focus. I don't know if you can see that, but it's toast, and then you can select like light or darkness, and you put how many slices of bread are in there. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's the best thing ever. All right, so turkey burger, honey mustard, because they're kind of dry, I'm not gonna lie. So lots of honey mustard, macros on honey mustard, 10 calories, and you guys don't care. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my lunch right there. And then afterwards, after the gym, I'll probably come and make my OG ground beef and rice. Or I'll just have a smoothie, I don't know. But, all right, let's go play ball. Let's go, let's go. Wait, 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 okay. So this is kind of back behind my house. This is where me and Bella come and play ball uh, at least twice a day. I do it once in the morning, typically right before I go to the gym, like I said, to wear her out. And then in the evening, it's just uh, it's a nice little area. Unfortunately, it's not fenced in, but she's getting really, really good at recall, meaning she sees a squirrel or something, I can tell her to come and she will. But we've been working on off-leash walking, Val. See, see, she's getting pretty good at it, but, um, Bella, hey, by my side. By my side is our dog trainer term that we were given when she was a little pup, Bell. But she uses this ball kind of as a reward. We walk all the way up to the driveway, and then when we get there, I throw it to her. It's like her treat, I guess, for being good walking back. But I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Oh, you shouldn't walk your dog off leash, but I obviously make sure nobody's around us whenever we're going back, and she's doing really good. This stupid tripod, this lens is so damn heavy. I just put on my Instagram story, tripod suggestions. If you guys have one, let me know in the comments down below. I don't like Gorilla Pods because they just wear out over time, and they're like long, and I don't know, they're obnoxious. So let me know if you guys have tripod suggestions in the comments. So, successful little walk with Belle. Uh, it is gym time, and I need to have a hell of a workout. I want to sweat, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go with Bubblicious today. So we're gonna do the legend Bubblicious right here, stacked with the size Natty flavor. I'm just gonna do like one, you know, Pretty, pretty big scoop like that. This pre-workout flavor is so good. By the way, I think by the time that this video comes out, these will be released. 
They turned the Bubblicious pre-workout into an energy. Like what? This, it's the best energy drink you will ever drink in your entire life. Uh, I'm saying that because this is literally the best pre-workout flavor you'll ever have. So, I think that should be released by the time that this is out. Anyways, so I'm taking that Legend Bubblicious pre-workout. We're gonna stack it with Ghost Size, which also has beta alanine in it, which is just creatine. And then, the only reason why I didn't do two scoops of pre-workout, which is the normal serving right there, is because at the gym, I'm gonna take this in my car, and once I finish drinking this, I'm gonna put this in here, the burn product. If you guys have problems sweating at the gym, take this, because I promise it will make you sweat, and it's gonna make you feel like you're having the best workout of your entire life. But, I do have to advise that this does have caffeine in it as well. So, if you're taking like a normal serving of pre-workout, two scoops, which would be, what is it, like 300, this is 250 milligrams, and if you were to take a serving of this, which is like 150, that's a lot of caffeine in my opinion, because I do drink an energy drink a day, and then also pre-workout, so I don't wanna like do all three, so yeah, just, you know, something to keep in the back of your mind. By the way, Code Garrett for literally any supplements on Ghost's website. I'll link uh, Ghost Lifestyle in the description down below. Code Garrett, 20% off anything. They ship worldwide. A lot of people were sending me DMs and stuff about that. Like, yo, do they ship to my country? Yes, they ship worldwide. They have distribution, distribution centers all over, like Australia, UK, uh, obviously the US, a few in the US. So yeah, Code Garrett, 20% off. Let's go get this workout in. It is clearly the next day. It is 9 a.m. I've got 10 a.m. RAS that was assigned to me. So that is airport standby for anyone who's not familiar. Um, I know the video was kind of just like bleh. Was it wasn't really like a storyline to it? I don't know why I'm so zoomed in. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys what it's like being on reserve. So yesterday was short call reserve, meaning two hour call out. And today they called me um, around, I think it was 8 a.m. I went on call at five. They called me for a 10 a.m. RAS. So it's nine now. I'm leaving a little early, but you know, whatever. But the good thing is, is RAS is only 10 hours long or eight hours, I don't know. But I went on call at five, so they can only assign me RAS for 10 hours of that period. So I'm only there for five hours until 3 p.m., if that makes any sense at all. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to say, like, this is kind of just a video to show you guys what I do, you know, on my day of a reserve and being like a content creator and fly to apparel and all that stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, can, for me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.